I'm out here in the middle of the Arizona desert testing the new MFJ octopus antenna system. This is it, and this is my story, this time on K6 UDA Radio. All right, my friends, I uh, like I said, I am out in the middle of the Arizona desert. I am in Quartzsite, Arizona. This is uh, the middle of January. It's the only time of the year that Quartzsite is bearable. Otherwise, it is like 110 degrees or more. And I am testing this new MFJ Octopus antenna. Okay very simple antenna system and you could tell by this one um, it did not exactly survive 60 plus mile an hour wind gusts that happened yesterday um, this came down it kind of got a little tweaked I'm gonna have to do some work on it now and bend it all back into shape okay the octopus antenna it uses standard ham sticks I mean, we'll just, we'll just start that one all over again. Okay, the MFJ octopus antenna uses standard ham sticks to, uh, to make itself roll. So it's very easy to pick out the bands you want and run with those. So I brought my buddy Sid in, uh, K7SID. He's kind of been on one or two of my videos but you didn't notice it because he kind of provided some background anyway uh sid and i we are camping buddies out here at quartzsite we have been for several for several years now huh yeah yeah all right sid you helped me set this thing up um what was your impression of this well, it, uh, it, it really sets up pretty easily, and uh, the, the tuning is what I helped with more than anything. I was, if you have an antenna analyzer, and you're, you have, Bob was up tuning the links to the stub, and I was watching the antenna analyzer, and uh, that makes things go much faster. If you have, if you have two people to, uh, to work with it, then, uh, then that's the best way to do that it. That is, I mean, if I had to climb down off the ladder, and screw around with this thing because here's the thing guys if you stand there on the ladder right under the antenna and you look at your analyzer your reading is screwed up because you're in what's called the near field and you don't want to be in the near field because that's bad <laughs> you don't want your octopus to look like this because this is bad too that was a little too much crown for this antenna I was really impressed with the 80 meter or the, the 75 meter ham stick. The wind was not so kind to me and this one is not happy anymore. <laughs> but I'll fix that. The octopus is very, very easy to use. Um, it goes up on any, any mast. This is what, a uh, like a one inch tube it'll set down inside of anything it's smaller than that and you just screw it down make it work no big deal it's uh, fed with its own piece of coax and an SO239 at the end very easy to plug in whatever coax you're using goes up into here and up on the inside here um, you could see all of these are electrically connected in two groups and then they break off and you could see where mine crashed and burned. How did I like this system? I won't say it was butter easy to set up. It was and wasn't. Very easy to get the initial setup done. To get the tuning done took a little bit more doing and now here comes a drone. Caller, so that I may talk. Squirrel! The initial tuning took a little bit of doing and uh, that is, that's kind of more of a hamstick thing than the octopus thing. What the octopus was really, really good at was the fact that I plugged in 
an 80 meter antenna, a 40 meter antenna, and a 20 meter antenna onto it. Ran that inside the motorhome there, and I was able to get on all three of those bands um, with relative ease. My normal um, little wire antenna, you can see behind me there, that one does not do 80 meters, so I am excluded from the 80 meter club when I'm using that one. The octopus here allowed me to get on 80 meters, which was very nice up until the wind blew it down. Yes, I have heard a lot of guys tell me out here that, oh yeah, I built something just like that. And that's great. And if you could build it, go ahead and build it. But if you're like me and you can't solder two pieces of wire together without screwing the whole damn thing up, you're better off buying something like this. Is this the perfect home antenna? Hell no. This is a compromise. Ham sticks are a compromise antenna. Guys use them as verticals on, uh, on trucks, on cars. Uh, they use them at field day. This makes using ham sticks at say field day or in the field like I'm out here in the middle of the desert. It makes it easy and fun once you kind of get past that initial setup and tuning of the ham sticks. Man, these things do work. They don't work as good as a full size antenna, but it's enough to get you on. And I was making contacts with it all over the country. I don't know. What else can I say? I'm on the, uh, the X5105 and uh, Japan, Japan there on uh, 20 meters with that. Kilo 6 Uniform Delta Alpha. Kilo 6 Uniform Delta Alpha QRP. <laughs> what, you don't think he could hear this? You know, these are the kind of guys that I work in sweepstakes. <laughs> And I spent three hours trying to get him. He goes, "Oh, by the way, I'm QRP." Every time I, every time I key up, I'm uh, killing 10% of my battery. Why well, I haven't charged this thing in like six months? I've gone, I've done two mountain tops with it on one charge. VK2. He's talking to a VK. But he's in Las Vegas. <laughs> Kilo 6 Uniform Delta Alpha QRP Portable 7. <laughs> you keep talking like you don't even hear me. <laughs> Kilo 6 Uniform Delta Alpha QRP. Ooh. Well, there went my power. <laughs> there went my battery. If he comes back, I'll give you $1,000 for it. <laughs> Yes! I love you, MFJ. I love you. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for the octopus antenna. Catch me again on the next uh, couple of videos. I'm going to be doing several videos out here from Quartzite and, uh, and Quartz Fest. And I'll tell you what, if you are thinking about ham radio, if you are into four-wheel drives, if you are into RVs, if you are into, wow, all, all kinds of stuff, mo off-road motorcycles, UTVs, you owe it to yourself to come out here to Quartzsite because this is kind of one of those bucket list things. I've been out here five years in a row, haven't done the same two things twice. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I'm out of here on Bob K6 UDA. Be sure and like, share, and subscribe. I'm out of here. 7-3.